Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna check out an awesome store in Sydney, Australia called Bespoke Aquariums. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef. Recently on a little bit of a whirlwind tour to New South Wales, thanks to Aquaforest and Oz Aquariums Australia, I was able to do a flying visit to one of my favorite stores in the country, definitely one of my favorite in New South Wales, Bespoke Aquariums have an incredible lineup in their store from a really clean and modern display all the way through to a huge range, super friendly and helpful staff. You will find everything you need at Bespoke Aquarium. So whenever I'm in the area, I make as much of an effort as I can to get in there. And I was super, super happy to see Colin and the full team in there have continued kicking goals in this shop. So I'm not sure how much more of a preface I can give you other than to roll the footage and I'll show you Bespoke Aquariums in Sydney. All right, here we are right out the front of Bespoke Aquariums and there is no mistaking where you are. If the uh, lineup of cars with the uh, custom Bespoke number plates didn't give it away, the huge black and white classy signage certainly did. Now, as you approach, you can see they are open seven days and unusually for a lot of Sydney stores, they are open at 9 a.m., which is super handy to know if you are in the area early. Now, you can also pick up your fruit next door if you want to, but uh, when you head on in store, there's some more of that beautiful uh, logos there from Bespoke Aquarium. You're greeted with a number of beautiful display tanks, an impressive counter with no shortage of dry stock on there, and of course, heaps of staff busily working away to make sure that uh, you're getting all the service you need. Now, when you look across here, you can see this beautiful water filling station right there with a the trolley ready to go. You can see the RO water and salt water prices there. You can load your drums straight on that trolley, fill them up with the petrol Bowser-esque hoses and off you go. Plenty of frozen food in the counter there. And then you get to this wall of Red Sea products, which I've got to say, if I was a Red Sea uh, rep or wholesaler, I'd be very, very pleased at this because it looks fantastic. They've got their supplements there. They've got their electronics. All the goods there very nicely presented and you'll see even more of those shortly. But uh, you can see there's a great range of everything there. And like I did touch on, there's even more to see. This is probably the part that I'm most impressed with, a full lineup of tanks. Firstly here from Red Sea and then as we go around the corner, you'll see more. You can see obviously the corresponding logo there. So you can see the tanks. You don't have to look at a brochure. You can actually see them set up, see the height of them, get a feel for the cabinets and everything there. You can see all the information. They've even got some of them lit up with Red Sea lights and things there. Most of them have scapes that are made in there that are also available for purchase, which are really, really cool. So you can get an idea as to what you're gonna put on your tank. and. Um, it just gives a real, it just really connects that tank rather than looking at a picture or having a look at specs. You can see they're all, the specs are all there, of course, and you get all the differences as you go up through the range, but actually being able to see these items right in front of you gives a great feel and you can compare brands. So we go from Red Sea across to Cade here. Again, a beautiful mirrored logo up there. And then you can see all of the Cade tanks the team, well, at least a good portion of the Cade tanks the team carry here, again, with scapes in there. And you can see these custom scapes are priced. You can even buy the right side, left side, or the combo all made out of different rocks, but uh, you can see the frag series system there. Then you move on to the S2 reef. Then you go up to the uh, ultimate, I think it is there, the sort of freshwater style system, which has got that beautiful uh, Euro brace on top. You can compare all the specs there. They've got these beautifully presented little uh, fact sheets in each system there. Really, really nicely done. I cannot emphasize how impressed I am with this. Sure, the sumps aren't set up because these tanks are still for sale, but uh, you can also then go have a look at the dry goods on the shelf and see what skim is actually gonna fit into that compartment in the sump and whatnot. So I, I just think Bespoke have done this really well. I know it's not easy from a shop's perspective to have all of these products out of the box and on display, because as soon as you take it out of the box, customers want it cheaper. Even the Aqua One systems here, you can have a good look, and it is a really good way of comparing why a Cade or a Red Sea or a water box or whatever the system may be costs more than an Aqua One or why an Aqua One costs less, depending on how you want to frame it, I guess. But uh, it's a really, really clever thing they've done there. And um, we'll have a little bit more of a look at these uh, aquascapes in a minute. We're gonna pan across here and just have a quick look at some of these freshwater systems. I know it's Parker's Reefs, not Parker's Rivers, but uh, they do have some quite impressive freshwater displays in here with a great range of fish. You can see some goldfish through to discus. This beautiful planted system here is um, something not to be taken lightly. It's, it's a really nice tank. And when I see these, I am often uh, swayed towards having something a little bit leafy, but uh, 
in this instance, not sweet enough. You can even see some sort of dry scapes there in uh, some of the dry systems set up there. Again, super, super impressive. You can see this big system here. I'm pretty sure this one's a water box. This is the Alex system here. Big, big, top of the line sort of water box system. Try and focus on the logo there. There it is. They laser etch that in there. This has got the big central weir. Really nice uh, cabinetry. Great uh, setup on it. Coming across in the middle here, I'll just put a filter on the camera. We've got the, the big red uh, Sea Reefer G2 Plus here as a display tank. And uh, this system is a little bit of a mixed reef, but I've got to say it's predominantly uh, torch and euphilia in there. There is a few acros and some acans. You can even see a clam down there, but uh, there's, there's a lot of torch in here. And I've got to say, I am surprised at how much flow these torch are getting. They are going wild in there, but uh, they all look fairly happy. So. Maybe there's something to it there. You can see the peninsula style system up this end. The hammers aren't getting as much flow as the torch, but maybe that's the trick. And uh, I'm sure the team here have scaped this beautifully just to uh, maximize the flow for every coral. But uh, yeah, they've got the Red Sea system here with the Red Sea pendant and there's LEDs over it. Again, a really great way for people to be able to have a look at different systems and compare and see which one's actually gonna suit their home and uh, their furniture and decor and things like that. So. Quite a clever little system here. Again, it's not easy to set up these displays and have them looking this clean in store, but uh, the team have done it and they've done it well. See some beautiful fish. Look at that big freckle tank in there. What a stunner. I'm surprised we don't see more of those in uh, people's home reef tanks because what a cool fish that is. It's like, a, um, it's like a gem tank, but the spots on it are gold. Even a little Lobo garden here is actually doing really quite well. Um, it looks quite nice. I've not seen an island like that full of Lobos, but uh, it's pretty cool. All right, now, moving on, you can even see this pretty cool little setup here, a little a bespoke aquarium's uh, water mixing system here. This is something that people often ask about, and uh, if you're time poor or handyman poor, you can go to bespoke aquariums and they can uh, custom make it for you. But this is the section I did touch on a little bit earlier that I really do want to focus on. Have a look at all of the range of products here. So this is a skimmer shelf here. We go from the Mantis range, which uh, is something that's really starting to get a bit of uh, traction here in Australia. Come on through here, you go into uh, some different brands. here. So you go through to Bubble Magus, Aquamedic, into your Red Sea roller mats, Clara Sea roller mats, Mantis roller mats. And uh, of course, at the end, you've got the, the, the Reef Factory roller mat, but you can see the different sizes of the two or the three that you the Clarice has got a very different footprint. The Mantis a bit top heavy compared to the others. See the Slimline uh, Reef Factory unit there through to the uh, cheap but cheerful Bubble Magus. Heading over the other side here, you can have a look at things like the Sea uh, Torch range from their dosing containers, their uh, uh, yeah, you can see all three of the dosing, or no, it's two sizes of the dosing containers there, two of the smalls. You do have the little brochures there, should you want to look at the brochures, but uh, why look at a brochure when you can uh, look at the product right there in front of you is what I think. But uh, they've also got the little media reactor there, they've also got a calcium reactor, move on to their filter sock holders, onto some of the other products like the uh, air scrubbers and things there, the CO2 absorbing uh, media onto the uh, Reef Pure RO range of uh, different RO units there, including, have a look at this range of fittings and uh, connectors and hoses and float switches and filters and you name it, the uh, team here at Bespoke have got a huge, huge range of dry goods. But uh, I do just want to come over this way, just have a quick look at uh, some of these uh, plain uh, glass boxes in there, great for basic little systems, but also great little hospital tanks, QT tanks. I do love this little nano system here. It's just got some leathers, uh, some, a couple of bubble tips, some zoas, super simple system, pair of clowns in it, but uh, I just love everything about it. This is an affordable, beautiful looking piece of the reef that someone could put literally on their desktop. And uh, what a way to showcase to people thinking about coming into Marine, how uh, affordable and simple the hobby can be. And then you come across here, you've got uh, some sort of dry scaped out uh, freshwater systems. And then up the end there, you got that beautiful planted tank. But uh, underneath this shelving here, you can see those systems there, but in the box ready to go, you can take them home and uh, put them in your boot and off you go. Over on the display here, you got this cool sort of like a goldfish bowl that of course does not have goldfish in it, but a really cool little uh, planted system in there. You can see no shortage of products here. This is a uh, working day and um, we are during the week here. So um, the team are uh, unloading and uh, filling things up. But you can see behind the counter there, you've got the reef factory, you've got Red Sea. Move on over to uh, Aquaforest Range, the world of 
purple there shines brightly, but uh, no shortage of Red Sea. And yeah, here we go over to the uh, the company that's actually made it possible for me to do this video. So Aquaforest got a great representation there. On to Seacam, then you go to Dr. Tim's Continuum, API, no shortage of uh, products here from different brands. Coral Essentials are there, Fauna Mariner there. You got two little fishies, you got Brightwell, you've got uh, all your different sizes of Acro Power, you got some freshwater medications there, huge range of the API products there. Plenty of different heaters, different brands, different sizes, different options, all the way through to your uh, eHimes and things like that. You've got some hang on uh, power filters there for uh, your freshwater systems. Uh, big air pumps, small air pumps, you name it. Huge range of the Hikari foods and some other brands there, all sorts of different uh, dry foods. On to tropical, ocean nutrition, uh, plenty, plenty. I, I could not possibly name them all. Looking up here, Chihirios is there. I hope I pronounced that right. I have had a couple of my freshwater YouTubing friends and make fun of me for the way I used to pronounce Chihirios. So let's hoping I've got that right now. Uh, Auto Aqua range of the, their smart reefing products there. I shouldn't say reefing, just their smart products there. Here's some of the uh, more lights there coming across into these really nifty little aquamatic pumps. Have a look how small these things are. That's one thing I will say, I'd love to see a couple of these pumps out, particularly these small ones to show customers just how small those aquamatics and even some of these Mantis pumps are. They, they've got a really, really big range here. And coming up the end, another reason why I'm here, the uh, Oz Aquariums distributors bring into Australia a reef factory. So uh, really good to see a big and well-stocked full range of uh, reef factory products here, including their brand new base pumps and some of the other products there. So really good to see. You've got an Australian brand here, uh, Quantum, very well represented. In fact, very, very well represented. Whoever stacked this shelf has a mild case of OCD, I would say, because uh, those labels look like they've been aligned with a laser. Up the end of this system here, you've got a beta rack here, some really cool betas. Uh, I'm not a freshwater guy, but uh, every time I see a good photo of these fish, I can't help but get a smile on my face because they've got such incredible color and uh, patterns on them. This uh, big planted system here, which is a nice little cascading style system. See, uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to point out any of the uh, plants in here, but uh, they have plants. <laughs> There's lots of them there. I got some Dimax foods there, some more plants there. And then in this section here, I'm not gonna walk down there because I'm just gonna embarrass myself, but you can see there is heaps and heaps and heaps of freshwater fish and even more going into the systems, despite the fact today is delivery day. So the uh, you'll see in a second, the marine side of things is just getting completely restocked. There's still already, maybe they've already unbagged some of the freshwater fish there because it's already chock-a-block if you ask me. But uh, let's head on over to the salty side of things and we'll start off with the uh, cascading coral tanks here. Bear in mind it is unpacked day, but there's a great assortment here of some wild zoa rocks, really, really nice nice size pieces, different shapes, all sorts of different uh, zoas on them, which is really cool to see. And then likewise, another beginner coral, you've got a good assortment of uh, disco morphs in here. A uh, really good range there, some Ragdactus. Uh, yeah, just all sorts of different types of morphs in there. Super easy to keep, super affordable, really nice bright splashes of color. In fact, you can see 15 per polyp, five for 65 or 10 for 100. Gorgeous little uh, purple tang in there, nice little juvenile size there, but um, that bottom system there has just got your real super easy to keep corals. Heading into this middle system here, you've got acro, which is obviously getting a little bit harder. These look like a bunch of uh, wild caught acros. So they're just doing their usual uh, acclimate into uh, aquarium life where their color changes a little bit. Then we come into this system here where they've got, you can see on the glass there, assorted soft corals. So you've got leathers of all sorts of types in here, some toadstools, some mushrooms, some uh, cinularias, all sorts in there. Also notice on the sign here, aquaculture blue tangs at only $125 each, which is super, super cheap. Very intrigued by that. I couldn't see any blue tangs in there, but I was interested. Over here, you can see uh, these baskets, absolutely chock a block full of all sorts of different NEMs. Have a look at the color on the uh, forest fire bubble tips. These are now, funnily enough, probably the cheapest bubble tip you can buy. I remember they used to be absolutely premium, but um, they just breed too quickly. That's their downside. They're still as beautiful as they were when they cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Speaking of beautiful, have a look at this piece here. Is that an Aiken or a Favia? Either way, it's a stunner. 
there's a, there is a little bit of variety of Acans and Flavias in there. There's also some Button Scollies, which um, thanks to our friends in America have shot through the roofing, roofing pricing lately. They've become a little bit popular over in the land of US of A. So um, they do now fetch a little bit more of a price tag than they used to, but understandably so, they're a beautiful coral. And then up the back here, there's a really, really nice assortment of uh, Euphilia, some really nice torches and hammers in here. In fact, looks like mostly hammers from models to reverses, uh, to some gold, some solid toxics, uh, some blotchies, all sorts. Have a look at the size of that uh, big gold piece there. That's a beast. Really hard to show on camera just how big that is, but it's sort of like half the size of a bowling ball, which is... Um, you know, decent. Now, while I've been oogling over these corals, have a look at the team over here. This young chap has been building scape after scape. I'm not sure if he's got a uh, run sheet that he's following or he's just letting the creativity flow, but um, either way, it's working a treat because have a look at this ambitious overhang he's got going on here. I love this. <laughs> That's gonna take some putty, some glue, and a whole lot of skill, but um, I've got no doubt the team here will pull it off. And um, really cool to see uh, someone as talented as that working away right in front of you in store there. And you can see all these scaping materials, whether it be freshwater or marine, up on the racks there. Even got a couple of chillers, heaps of plumbing materials there. Really nice setup here. It looks like a high-end garage. And I know uh, Colin, the owner of Bespoke, does enjoy a little bit of uh, fine motoring. So um, you probably have a little bit of an influence there, but uh, you see plenty of gray and red piping there. You come across over into the marine side where you can see all the sort of uh, reef ready rocks there from different brands, even some scales there so you can weigh things up. But uh, one last look at a master at work because it's a uh, super impressive site. Now, we will finish things off over here on the uh, marine fish system, but like I did touch on, today is unpack day, so uh, it's only the fish that have been left that have been absolutely ravaged after the weekend sales. So um, you see the team here just uh, getting some of the fish in their bags, just floating in the system there, making sure all the systems are nice and clean. Let's have a look what we got in here. We've got a, uh, looks like a nice little scopaz, nice little juvie scopaz in there. So. Great assortment of fish coming in, but uh, I do like to see the team here working away, making sure the systems are beautiful and clean before the new fish go in there. Just doing all your maintenance to make sure that a shop that is nice and tidy like this one remains nice and tidy. So that's the kind of work that it takes to have a shop as pretty as this, and um, it definitely does not come easy. So tip of the cap to bespoke. One thing I can see no shortage of though, have a look at the number of red line cleaners in here, which. I know for our friends over in America, these are pretty common, but in Australia, they're very, very difficult to get hold of and draw quite a price tag. If you don't know, we cannot import uh, any invertebrates into Australia, including shrimp. So they're only collectible in a few very rare locations in Australia and it takes quite a journey to get them. So they cost quite a bit, but uh, so we just have a little bit of a pan around just to check out, look at the vines growing up on that planted system. The beauty that is bespoke aquarium. So I do just want to have one last quick look at this beautiful, I'm pretty sure this is a cichlid tank. I know you freshwater guys will probably laugh at me if I get that wrong, but whatever these freshwater fish are, they're beautiful. You see a nice Cade system here. I love the way that it lines up with the Cade logo in the background. They've got such great brand representation in this store and um, have a look at that system. That's really, really nicely laid out. I like the uh, sort of river based sand in there, that nice basic scape. All of those beautiful, aggressive fish swimming around in there. And um, one thing I do just want to point out, a quick look behind the counter. You can see a great range of products in there from uh, Reef Factory Lights, Hannah Checkers, Vortex, Radians, Nero's, and a nice little, uh, another little Paludarium or something on here. I've got to stop getting tempted by these freshwater things, but uh, they do look cool and I love how small they are. See the staff there helping some customers and uh, no shortage of salt here. But uh, I think I could probably wrap the video up up here we might head back to the studio just as we pan across the famous bespoke aquariums logo what a fantastic store this is all right guys there you have it that was my quick tour of bespoke aquariums right up there in western sydney in australia I do love the way they have such a huge range of dry goods on display out of the box so you can actually see it, 
touch it, feel it, get a feel for the quality, get an idea of the size of the product and actually see the difference between it and its competitors. I think they lead the way with their store in that kind of department. Not to mention, you can see some of the staff there putting together those aquascapes right there in front of you. And of course, you had the facility to make your own with a huge range of rocks they have there. All of the plumbing, all the different brands of tanks and equipment, and of course, no shortage of livestock in there for both freshwater and marine. A huge shout out to all of the team there at Bespoke Aquariums. I know they do incredible work and I was super happy to get the opportunity to share that with you via this YouTube channel today. Now, I don't have anything else really to say other than if you have any questions or comments for myself or the team at Bespoke, feel free to pop it on the comments section down below. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. That will tell the YouTube algorithm that you thought it was a good video and will help recommend this video to other viewers. And last but not least, if you want to join our ever-growing, now over 26,000 member strong subscription base, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner there. It takes two seconds, it costs no money whatsoever. Other than that, I'll wrap things up by saying a huge shout out to Aquaforest, who made this video possible via their Australian distributor, Oz Aquariums. We were able to get out there and show the store some of the products from their wet foods and their liquid foods around their mysis and other products like that, as well as some of their supplements and even some of their pallets. So we took all these products around the shops and showed them how they work in their own display tanks. And I'll make sure you can see some of that footage on screen now. Other than that, guys, I will leave you with it. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers, bye.